so I woke up after fighting to get out of my bed for two days. <laughs> I decided on this day I wouldn't stay in bed because I realized it made me feel like shit. Um, after impulsively and obsessively cleaning, I took a shower and decided, you know, let me do my makeup. Maybe I'll feel better. Put on the foundation to cover up my spots and insecurities so I don't get to see them. But the foundation is only making me feel bad because <laughs> why does it look orange? Anyway, I go on because I have nothing else to do today. I put on the makeup, put on the foundation, put on the powder and I realize, you know, this is not going to turn out well. I just look orange, but I continue. I continue because, well, I gave myself a task today. I promised myself I'd do my makeup to feel better. If you ask me at this point, I'm not really feeling any better. The mess in front of me is only <laughs> making my OCD, you know, get triggered. But choose to ignore it and choose to focus on what I'm doing, which is trying to do my face. My lipstick doesn't work, so remove that. <laughs> my eyeliner didn't work. Well, that's great. Anyway, I'm all done. The only part of doing all of this that made me feel a little better was cleaning up my makeup brushes and putting them back in my bag because I was done doing whatever I was doing which I thought would make me feel better but well I didn't really do anything so here we are I decided to go outside Petty Lea, my friend bought me a pot plant or what you call it a pot for the plant <laughs> so i've been procrastinating transplanting my plants so i decided to do it to make me feel better the sun's out it was raining yesterday so i'm taking advantage of this opportunity i feel a little better because i love nature i love plants i love being outside Except the sun is really hot, but I will not complain about it. Don't want to complain. So, my transplant, I've been neglecting her for the longest time. Well, for obvious reasons, school. <laughs> um, yeah. Now, it's a matter of, do I go back to my room? Or do I do something else? I don't have anything else to do, so go back to my room. Realize I haven't eaten. It's 11 o'clock by now. I haven't eaten. I'm not hungry, so I won't eat. Decide. Let me read a book. A fiction one. Not a self improving one because I know it'll force me to do something I do not want to do because. I honestly do not want to do anything at this point, but I don't want my mind to be idle, so I read the book. It's about demons and angels. <laughs> um, it's interesting. And I can't tell if it's making me feel better or it's making my head hurt, but at least I'm doing something. I read about 15 pages for close to an hour. I'm reading very slow because I just don't feel like reading as fast as I usually do. 
I'm not myself anyway. So I read. There's nothing else to do now, so I go to bed. I've done all these activities, but do I feel any better? No. But I force myself to do the things I usually love. They didn't make me feel any better, but I feel a bit good because I pushed myself to wake up but didn't stay in bed. So it's not all bad. I'm a bit more hopeful for the next day. I'll do better, I'll be better. I'll be happier and peaceful. All that matters is the day is over. I didn't die, so it's just a bad day. Day where my head and my heart, my soul are not at peace or happy or any of that positive shit. (laughs) But I got through it. And that's all that matters. I'm alive. And there's so much to be grateful for. So I'll be hopeful yes. Bro, this guy looks for the so following nice. day. I will be better. So will you. <laughs>